hey y'all, congratulations on your uh, extraordinary success <clears throat> with that lame uh, British Columbia initiative recall referendum act. Uh, you did an extraordinary job with a piece of shit that Bill Zander's lamb, you know, only put out there to taunt you all. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll give you people the fucking say over your own affairs. Yeah, over the... <laughs> here, here you go. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to reward me and my buds an extra couple helpings of private land. Yeah, I know. You put on a good show. Bill. But, you know, it's like Bill Hicks says, I'll attach it right there in his shill song. Never to be fucking trusted again. Always to be suspect. Always. If they hand you gold, it's probably got depleted uranium in it. Or tungsten or whatever. <clears throat> so, anyhow. Uh, did not make it. I understand the numbers are around... 7.2% of the population before verification, which, you know, no point doing if you didn't hit 10% in each riding, right? Uh, overall, about half the ridings were able to be reached and alleviated of enough ignorance that they said, yeah, let's have a discussion on this, let's have a referendum, and we succeeded the 10% vote in, in about half the ridings, I understand, or uh, thereabouts, again, uh, unverified signatures, or unqualified. So, um, I'll put the link here and here to BC Elections and uh, the Standing Committee on basically updating how we vote. Uh, basically making use of the uh, internet, which is good enough to wage nuclear war and uh, trillion dollar bank transactions. You know, <clears throat> the missing Pentagon $2.1 trillion uh, on uh, 910 and all notwithstanding as precedent. I think I, I think we can find a way to do that. Vote and sign official uh, canvas petitions and, and uh, well, you know, like real Canadian democracy says there. Only this would be, I guess, real BC democracy or, or if you're in a municipality, real Abbotsford democracy or whatever uh, and uh, let's let's give this real democracy a try before uh, humanity steps so far into this extinction that no time for such nonsense is collective proving and communal decision making okay let's just get this representative democracy uh, subjugation nonsense just throw that show in that whole Hegelian dialectic recipe and in the fucking trash where it belongs. Okay. At least show you're sentient enough to realize, well, they're giving us Hegelian dialectic, which is no democracy and no choice whatsoever. And we've been swallowing it. Cock, shaft, and head deep since they've been handing it out. Because, well, you know, it appeases our cognitive dissonance. Well, okay, it's nothing, but at least we can tell ourselves we've tried. We've tried to have a say in our own affairs. We, we've we tried to be... No, try and doesn't fucking cut it as extinction line either. Um, I would say those who've practiced it will be one up there on, the, on that, you know, you can only carry about 144,000 pair bonds uh, at a time on uh, Phobos to Mars, so you want to bump up the list, you know. Well, if you can put on your resume, I actually have helped uh, a, a real a forum democracy, and, you know, I use these skills here and these skills here, and, you know. <sighs> Not, you know telling you what to do, I'm just telling you what I would do if I was able to go on the expedition. And, you know, you only get so many orbits and poof. The Earth, my Earth, she's a god. Eh, me too, eh? Poof, I mean. Poof! Yeah, singularity. <laughs> Just 
sooner or really soon, depending on things like space weather, you know, GBR induction, uh, inclusions, and, you know, your own nuclear bombs and your own fusion. You keep feeding the singularity, you'll, you'll figure out at that last second part, perhaps, some of you will. Which, I mean, doesn't matter. You guys are obviously lining up to... In the name of making space travel created scarcity, uh, you know, you, you, you got your Kessler Syndrome going, you're going to make it so nothing can enter or leave the orbit real soon. One meteor graze at just the right vector, speed, angle. Or, you know, a couple more couple more anti-satellite tests or genuine oop, malfunction from a solar storm collisions and you'll have the Kessler. I mean it's already mathematically it's already uh, not factoring in for future weather events you know it's already in progress it's just don't think you're gonna build anything that can get through that reliably and remember, you gotta get your asses up out of Earth, Earth orbit, out of the gravity well, and into the Bay of Phobos, and then you gotta get your ass off at the other end. So, you know, you got lots of wonderful designs that are actually being prototyped now, and your private firms. <laughs> Keep working on it. And, uh, oh, I guess we might as well move right on to. Oh, man, that's enough of me. Hey, guys. It's a guest appearance. We're giving a State of the Union on the Creative Communication Co op. Okay, this is in YouTube shit, which I doubt will ever go up on again. Although it is, uh, it is back on the block for sale if anyone wants. We're now at just under 1.7 mil. Uh, the last negotiation, uh, I had to nix it. Their uh, terms of uh, licensing for Doc Atomic's story was just unacceptable. Didn't even get past me, let alone to the point where the dogs would have a sniff. Here, let's get the elephant frozen. Frozen duck pond, she froze over again. It's about minus three Celsius now. Just sunning it. <clears throat> so it's warming back up. So, uh, where we're at, um, looks like everything's on schedule. I believe uh, we can say 12 street broadcasting units. Yeah, the, uh, well, we'll just say the holograph projectors that come out the uh, roof vents. The uh, roof escape hatches, you know, you know, the, you know the expression, how's that go, that, that old, old joke. About, uh, they get their heads chopped off in the street, and, and yet they're not dead, and they just keep on broadcasting, so, well, we'll just see how impervious this is to your destructive, uh, technologies. Um, you know, of course, with Skycast, you're, you're limited according to the conditions, so, you know, it'll be like the ideal will be, you know, one in each population center initial launch and of course the big thing is your you know your your Facebook your 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 Google stocks you know what good is any of that infrastructure I mean I guess it'll go serve cyber cash your RFID chips in your in your uh, foreheads and palms of your hands or palms of your hands and shit. Yeah, I guess that 
I guess that old crap communication deck will be regulated to that, but uh, it was worthless anyhow, I mean. One EMP, one lightning strike, and, and Utah data bluff would be <laughs> that was the that was the smoke going out of the ICUs. <laughs> Oh, that means you much, Lee, eh? <laughs> okay. Cindy's made her vote. It's a slide downhill from here, Cindy. You've decided to, to allow crappy designs to be destroyed by their own incompetence. <laughs> uh, I'm still coming for my money, though. One, one, one part at a time of salvage prices. <clears throat> Which, knowing where most of your uh, IC parts come from, I would dare say that the uh, you know the gold's probably uranium contaminated and that kind of thing. So <clears throat> your one dollar parts are probably you know worth like ten cents when you factor in the uh, applicable scrap adjust value adjustment, the contamination ratio. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, uh, Skynet should be a go, uh, at least at an introductory phase. Why is this so tight there? But it, everything's very flexible. You want to do these things at just right moment, you know, when you're involved in st stock adjustments as uh, collateral damage. You've got to be responsible. You don't want the people losing their civil pensions and stuff that was invested in shit like uh, Facebook and other pyramid investment schemes. Reminiscent of the <coughs> thingy in 2000. The Hollow pyramid internet stocks. Well, looks like the sun's going to set. Pretty soon. And of course, um, keep your what Google uh, did to me and uh, uh, your googly fuck YouTube uh, stories and uh, keep improving them and submit them if you like. Because as I mentioned, the technology will be first explained in the initial broadcasts, the initial skycasts, and uh, <clears throat> then, you know, depending how feeble their attempts prove to destroy the technology and prevent anyone from having it, you know, once it's all this, the technology is disseminated, well, then we'll, we'll start with your, what googly fuck YouTube did to me. And, you know, this, the theme is the, uh, Homo sapien data archive, which you're going to trade for other archives, as I've mentioned before. Once your technology is there, on your skills and your etiquettes, because you're all a bunch of like hockey players. Nobody, you know, nothing good's going to come out of that. No one's interested in that. Oh yeah, we're going to teach you how to make big sticks, big hockey sticks, so you can come and whack us. Uh, nah. Yeah, you get the picture. The sun is set on that era, and uh, let's uh, move forward. And the equality. Let's um, let's serve life. Those that can will, and those that can hopefully will uh, assist them. 
those of us that can't 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 leave the earth again no desire but you know you may find your perishment a little less your extinguishment a little less uh, painful and despicable if you uh, do something to make sure that some life has a chance yeah but if you want to sponsor even if it's just the species known as data which is the essence of any individual within any collective and maybe I'll get some ducks crashing ice I'll just keep her rolling see the chip the coke waff and chipmunks have been back looks like they've been storing their pornography magazines in the pine tree I was hoping to have enough footage to show you but I figure we may as well let the sun set on this era after all this is a state of the Common creative communication co-op, ain't it? So there's the State of the Union. One, we're ready. Two, we're set. And time will say when to go. Until then, just keep building more, refining more, distributing more. There's there's a lot of streets for people to be. Well, you know, and rooftops. Clearly, we, we, we need to be able to all speak. Because we're all being held strictly accountable. As it is at the harvest of survival. Hey, bug. Keep your soul from being irradiated and, uh, you know, again, the ones with the least damage. Get boosted up for the Phobos Express list. You have to ration resources according to your effectiveness, right? So, you know, not saying that even if that was it, everyone was removed, I would still get to go. I won't. You know, it's not just that my soul's been nuked off several times. It's uh, singularity, lose containment. If I try and leave, and... oh, that would be that. Get very heavy in an awful hurry. Peace out, y'all.